What's up everyone? I'm Gala Paula back with some more Escape from Elo Hell. I'm just playing through a little Elo account to get the gold and straight together to come with your kindred to get the Victor skin at the end of the season. This may or may not be one of the last few games. We're currently at the edge of the Elo right now. And I'm um, starting red side, just gonna go for the quick level 3 with Raiden, and uh, I might go gank bot lane early on because Nautilus hooks are actually extremely deceiving, the hitbox. So we could potentially do that. Runes at the bottom left. It is Conqueror with Triumph, Alacrity. We're using Last Stand this time. Taste of Blood and Ravenous Hunter. It just feels pretty nice to use. Not sure if it would say the best or the worst or anything, but definitely feels really, really good to use. So that's what I'm going to use for now. Okay, now. I'm gonna smite this camp. The reason I'm gonna smite it is I did just kite it around a little bit and I took a little bit too much extra damage. I didn't think about the fact that the camp didn't spawn yet when I queued over either, so I did lose a little bit of DPS with not much, like literally minor, minor amount. But I did lose some, so we're just gonna go on out like this and yeah. We're gonna actually try for the level 2 gank on Botlin. Get the nice kill there. The Botlane did really good. They managed to actually kill the uh, the Thresh without hit, like without any trouble. Like they without any help, they early on killed Thresh. I believe that probably happened because the hitbox on Nautilus's Q is very. It's a strange hitbox. It will go past you, but then it, like it's a lollipopping hitbox. If you don't know what that means, it means it extends on the edge, but it extends so far sometimes that you just don't expect it. It's one of the reasons why Nautilus is a very like annoying champion to a lot of people is because you can't really there's a lot of times you'll dodge the hook but it just like hits you and you're just like what the fudge okay so he stole my blue Okay, so he stole my blue and he stole the scuttle, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here into his jungle and I'm going to steal this this blue buff back. That's pretty much what I want to do. I'm going to come around and first check his wolf camp though. The reason I'm going to check the wolf camp is just to see if he's here. He's not here. That means we're going to come on over and... Oh no, he actually didn't take my blue. He took his blue. Interesting. And we'll take his gromp. We'll take his gromp and then get out of here really quickly. I was not expecting him to go, so he went his blue to his red to the scuttle, I believe. Interesting. Very weird glare path. Very, very weird glare path, in my opinion. Normally, Kane starts at raptors, then goes to red, and then scuttle. Surprising. So just killed this little camp now. As soon as this camp is dead, we're gonna back and then we'll go towards our top side. Yeah, I know my blue's up. Yeah, I know King can invade me very easily. All that jazz, but um, I wanna go by in all honesty and not having any mana when you clear takes too long and it's actually less efficient. So since it's inefficient and I do just need items anyways, I'll just go get my skirmisher saver and I'm gonna go with probably an on handy type build this game. Then we'll just do that. And be happy. Looks like they may be able to kill the Lucian, may not. Lucian actually may kill the Kai'Sa here. Ooh, close fight. Close, close fight. Looks like Kai'Sa is unfortunately going to die though. I'm not even going to look down there because I'm scared of what the Fizz is about to do to that woman. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, she shut down. And the Fizzy Fizz boy just decided to rotate down there and stomp her up. So... That's not good. Kaisa though is 2 and 1. She's ahead of Lucian. They're even in farm too. He does have the assist, so they're kind of like keeping up with each other semi in gold. But the two kills that Kaisa has are big enough that the gold leads there for her. I don't have a mark yet because I've kind of been neglecting the side of the map where I need to be. LeBlanc's not gonna die to this gang. Like, <laughs> it's LeBlanc. We, we've all been there and like to that point where we tried to gank a LeBlanc player and it's just like, dear god, stop dashing back and forth. We've all been to that point, so, yeah. Currently, the best case scenario for me is to just get kills where I can and just get the late game, because late game, their team's not actually that insane. The Kane, he's not very effective against Kindred. Kane's a really bad matchup into Kindred, so it's easy for me in that regard. The only one who's really annoying for me is the Lissandra and maybe a Fed Fizz. Mainly Lissandra if she presses R on me, though. That's, like, the biggest deal for me.
All right, so this stuff isn't up either. Shaco seems like he's doing very well farming against Thoisandra. That's good. We need our Shaco boy to be ahead. Ooh, she actually solo killed right there. Nice. Okay. Let's just run on over here so we can find anything. Oh, we can. Hi, candy boy. Candy boy, candy boy. Oh, you're a little candy boy. Candy cane, candy cane. All about the candy cane. He may burn. Yep. There we go. Who's next? She wants help pushing this wave. By all means, gotcha, buddy. Now we can go. So that was actually interesting. The cane decided to try to fight me rather than run away. I guess he tried to fight me because he thought he maybe could out damage Kindred early on. But most cane players don't realize cane's damage does not beat Kindred early on. Yes, you might get some orbs, which is cool. You got orbs. Congratulations. You're a little bit closer to your form and stuff. But. Kindred scales also insanely in the late game, so they kind of keep up with Kane scaling, and there's not much the Kane can actually do to contest the Kindred. It's one of those champion matchups that's just like, it just feels bad. It's like Kindred and the Kha'Zix almost, but not as bad. Or like, Kindred is the Kha'Zix in this matchup. Okay, okay, well, we managed to get one kill. It's really up to LeBlanc at this point. I can't do anything because the Fizz is gonna do that. Oh, if I would have kited back one more step, I would have been fine. Sad days. Alright, well, they just got two for four. That was actually really bad. That was really, really bad. If I kited back one more step, I could have killed the Fizz there. Sad days, sad days. I was really hoping the LeBlanc was going to have the damage to kill there, but she just didn't. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, I'm going to head up towards top lane for the scuttle side. I do that. We can win ourselves. The, I'm, I feel like he's getting a little too arrogant right there, because that wasn't our fault that they all rotated there. The Fizz and the Kane were rotating there ahead of time. I only showed up because I saw them on the map rotating there. It's... That, that was the only real reason I was there, but fair enough, teach her. If that's how he feels, I will respect his decisions. Unfortunately, my Shaco died to a full health with Sandra, so that's a little sad for me. Now, I'm going to try heading towards top side. The reason I don't really want to do this, though, is A, Lissandra's a pain. B, Lissandra's a pain. C, freaking what's his name's a pain? Kane's a cane. Uh, Kane's a cane. Kane is a cane. Who knew? So what's the deal about airline food? There we go, well, she's out of lane for the time being. Um, that's about the best I can do. It's up to really the LeBlanc if she wants to try to go for a dive. Oh, oh, she does. Okay, good on the LeBlanc, smart player. She actually is willing to cooperate and like go for dives and stuff. She has confidence in her champ. That's what you want from a LeBlanc. You don't want a LeBlanc who has no confidence in herself whatsoever. Ooh. Oh. You just used your E. Oh, I'm dead, so. Okay, well, he's dead. He just used his E, so that should honestly be two kills for the, uh... That could have been two kills for the LeBlanc if she really wanted it. He used no R there. Oh, well, that's a little sad. I was really hoping we'd kill him there, too. He used his E, though, so he kind of inted for it, and I don't know if that's really worth it for him. He did kill me again, though, so I guess it's worth it for him. I got another mark, though. I'm happy with a mark out of that, and LeBlanc getting a kill. If we can snowball with LeBlanc, heck yeah. Heck, heck yeah. Really, the only matchup that I can foresee struggling a little bit is the Shaco, but the Shaco's still even in gold because of his farming compared to Lissandra's, and that's just because AP Shaco's very hard to make work. They're like the only person I know that can actually make AP Shaco look good still in top lane is uh, Pink Ward, and it's very hard for everyone else. Oh, I couldn't hit him in time.
Okay, so we knew that was warded. He went and put a pink ward in there for me, though. That was really good. We know they're about the four man in the bottom side of the map, and when they do that, we're gonna want to fight. But at the same time, I don't know if I can without Lissandra. Yes, take the hook. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Oh no, oh my god, that's freaking triumph heals are insane. Oh, he could cue me though. I got greedy there. I wanted to bait him out though. <laughs> that's either way, that's good. Those triumph heals, man, those triumph heals were insane. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're good. We're pretty much set up for everything we need at this point in this game. Not much is going to change now. I should get the dragon as well. We were able to bait out a really nasty fight there. Because getting hit by that hook and then letting the Thresh jump over the wall while my team was right there. He didn't know my team was there, like, at all. That was so good for our team. Their Fizz is the only one doing well, and on top, well, I mean, Lissandra is also doing kind of well. But our Shaco is keep, going to keep most attention up there because he's going to split push most of the game. That was something. That was, so, that was a good fight. Okay, uh, we did unfortunately lose a bunch of Medjai stacks on the Blanc, and then I also died again because I'm a Tard, but it's fine. That fight could have been a lot better if I didn't wind up getting too greedy and going back in and try to W and get the assist off the Fizz. I didn't think his E was going to come off cooldown, but it did, and I was just like, Hey guys, I'm in. My name is Antley Polo. How are you guys doing today? And it's like, hi Antley Polo. Oh, you're dead. I was glad I was there for, to help the Lissandra whenever I could. No, not Lissandra, LeBlanc whenever I could. There's a cane up top lane, so I'm gonna go into his jungle and see if I can find anything over here. There's a chance I could, chance I couldn't. Yeah, no, nothing. So they got that, that's good then. Um, I'm gonna stand right here and just see if maybe they'll run up next to the wall. And if they run up next to the wall, I may just queue over the wall. Luckily Gromp is also spawning, so get a little bit of gold here. Really, really risky for me to be farming this side of the jungle alone, but this, for one, is my fourth mark. And two, there's a blue buff, and um, hello, jungler blue buff. You know, that that just, do it. Can, I, can I be any more obvious with that? Okay, she wants to peace out, we should peace out. Oh, well, I don't think we're peacing out. Uh. Oh no! LeBlanc! No! <laughs> oh no, I'm being a wonk and dead. <laughs> we're getting too greedy. We're getting so greedy. <laughs> I'm way too greedy right now. I'm like the greediest player ever when it comes to playing against Kane's. Just like, I know I'm better than you, Kane. I know who I am. Fight me. Can't wait for them to flee. Okay, so there's a chance that Fizz is going to kill the Shaco here. Although, maybe not. Maybe. Okay, yeah, no. He's going to kill the Shaco there. This is point and click Q is just like, get your butt over here, boy. Get over here. Wow, Kane, you tickle that tower worse than I do. Ah, uh, Thresh. Buddy. You you can't win this fight. Don't don't try it. Don't 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 try it. You you cannot win the fight. <laughs> that fight is a no go for Mr. Caney boy. Uh oh.
Okay, so he's dead. We'll, we'll come over here. We'll kill Lucian as well. Oh, no, we're not going to kill Lucian. I'm so greedy. <laughs> I thought I would kill him. With the oh, my God. I thought I had the AD. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? <laughs> Holy crap. I honestly thought we could kill him there. The tickling did more damage than I'd expected to it. I should have cut it up to the top or ulted, but I was too greedy, man. I was too greedy. <laughs> Why am I such an idiot? Oh, that's great. I am so greedy right now. Okay, so we're gonna stop being so greedy now. We're still f ahead of the game, but uh, you know, doing what we're doing right now is bad. I and mean, I'm just, yeah. I'm like Barry Allen, but instead of the fastest man alive, I'm the greediest man alive right now. This next one will be easy. And if not, let's probably just come over here and help the team. Be be a smarter player. Be a normal player for a change. Never mind, they're fine. I'll just get the dragon. So we're getting the objectives all over the map. My bot lane is hard carrying right now. That is good. My bot lane doing what they need to do. Plus my LeBlanc being an awesome player right now. Shaco even popping off. Look at me, the only scrub without a bounty. Alright, Kane went Ross. Kane going Ross is really good against On Hit Kindred because he has more HP now and he doesn't have the burst, so On Hit Kindred is perfect what I want. Perfectly. Perfectly chosen. Your team has destroyed a turret. They're gonna go help stop with the Herald. So while they go to stop the Herald, I'm just gonna play through the middle of the map. I don't know why Kane's here. Hmm. There to kill Harold? No, they're just losing the tower, and Kane's just here to try to contest me, I guess. You still can't beat me in a fight, buddy. It, it still can't happen. You're dead. Enjoy. You can't beat me in a fight, Kane. You just can. Okay, well, with that, I'm gonna go try to get this mark. It's a little bit risky to be running through their topside jungle, but as I've seen, nobody has entered this. I just want the mark right now. Screw the raptor camp. I just want to get this and get out because I'm not very topped off on mana right now. Yes, I'll regen more the longer I'm in the jungle, but I'd rather go top off really quick. If there's a scuttle crab alive plus a bush here, we'll kill the scuttle crab and then get the bush for the mana, and we'll have it. We'll be kind of topped off again, but we'll have about two. So like 2100 ish gold, so yeah, we're gonna back with that. I don't know why I'm taking the plan if I know I'm backing. Should we leave that for someone else? Busy boy. Okay, so with this, we'll grab a cutlass and we'll grab ourselves a dagger. That's what we want. Okay, so I'm going to kill these camps now, and then I'm going to go ahead top lane and probably split push out top or at least try to get the inhib. The main reason I want the inhib itself is because the inhib is like another player's worth of pressure, and that's what Shaco's doing as well. It's like another player's worth of pressure because the super minion's hard push, and if you don't, if you disregard the super minions the entire time, you will suffer. You you will suffer from ignoring supers. Okay, she done. She done so. I can't go over there. We did get the in, uh, the inhibitor, which is what I wanted to do. So Shaco, good with that play, on point with it. He made the right call for that one. I'm gonna come over here then. Let's we'll see if we can get uh, maybe an eighth mark. Nothing. Else. All right. So this is dead. Oh no, they actually weren't able to kill him. 
I don't think he can kill me as soon as I get my W up. Wow, dude, this dude is like tracking me with this going. I ain't scared of him. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're out. There we go. I didn't know if it was just the Thresh, so I was running away because I was scared he was going to land turn somebody in, but because it was just the Thresh, it's not a big deal at all. That dude with the calling was just like, he was just like, I'm I'm hitting you with this whole calling. And it's like, all right, you're starting to trigger me, man. You're starting to trigger me. I will calling you in the face with my arrows. <laughs> Now we'll come over here. We did get the Thresh Ignite. I don't know if I pinged that at all. Uh, if I didn't, there we go. We now know. There's a Ocean Drake coming up in a moment. Gonna get this scuttle. I'm gonna back then. The reason I'm backing is, yes, they're gonna push in. Oh, I should probably help him. But I wanna back because I can finish my Blade of the Ruin King now, and that's a big, big old power spike of an item. Although, looking like we could potentially be ending the game out right here in a moment, so... There's also those potentials. Alright, look, buddy, stop with the tickling. So we killed the Lucian now. He, uh, he kind of just ended, really. He thought they were going to win the team fight with Osandra. They realistically weren't. Uh, they're the Frizz are spawning. I'm, I'm not saying that fizz. I'm sorry, but no, I'm Audi. You guys have fun with that fight? Yeah, that's about as well as that one's gonna go, and I ain't doing it. <laughs> I am not doing that fight. Oh, uh, what do we want? Let's go with 10. Get ourselves some nice little wits. Fear makes the chase more fun. So we got the double inhibs popped and then that's going to push into their fountain. So we're going to have a lot of pressure, meaning for the time being, I guess Kane will probably come out here, but we could pressure this Baron relatively hard right now. Are we going to do it? I don't know. Looks like Shaco wants to do some Baron action. I'm down for some Baron action. And there we go, we got the cane. I was trying to hold off on killing the cane mainly because I wanted to make sure we uh we got the Baron and that's exactly what we did. There we go, we're outy. We're good, we're fed and strong now. Hey see, we're popping off, we're back on the top of the team. That's all it takes. It takes a little bit of a brain, you know? You guys feel it. You guys all feel it. I don't think there's any way that Lucian can save the game here, unless he were to, like, save by killing Kai'Sa early on or something, there's no way. Yeah, game over, Dunzo, boom, pow, pop. So, with that, thank you guys for watching this gameplay, let's see where we get placed. We're either gonna be in promos, I don't believe you can skip promos, but we could potentially be in promos. Looking like we're just gonna go pad some stats for a second and just do that like usual, and yeah. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this gameplay. I was really greedy. Don't don't do what the greed tard things that I did. But let's see what we're getting. I believe I'll be in promos. So let's honor our Blanc because I like the Blanc. Yep, yep, we're in promos. So minimum three more games. Not a bad thing, really. Not hard in the first place to really do. And so yeah, see so yeah, how we did for damage. We actually did second most damage still. We we out damage the Blanc pretty heavily. Lucian did a good amount of damage. Kane wasn't really relevant on their team. None of that stuff. So yeah. Either way though. I, uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, so uh, see ya.